if he did YRG, DDP's yoga, he'll tell you, oh, yeah, because he's the one who told Jericho about it. And he's the one who would tell. He wasn't as vocal as Chris, but he would tell everyone, listen, if your body's hurting you, he can help you. You should get his stuff. He gives it to all the boys, which I do. I give it to guys in the NFL. I give it to MMA. I give it to guys who beat up their body for a living. And I want to help them because I know if I help them, they're going to talk about it. You know, like all the guys in the WWE from, you know, Daniel Bryant to The Miz to um, to um, my boy Zack Ryder, you know, Kane. I mean, Mick Foley, they've all San, – Santino, they all tweet about it. Of course, Chris Jericho, you know, uh, they talk about it because they're really doing it. They're not doing it like uh, Shane Helms. They're not doing it just to promote me. They're, they're going, this shit works. You need to try it, you know. So uh, – you know, it's, it's really been crazy since since the whole Arthur thing exploded. Like, I'm in Orlando right now because this went from a garage we were setting the DVDs out of to a um, to a, uh, a storage unit to a warehouse in five days. I mean, that's how much it blew up worldwide. And I haven't even advertised it yet. It's just the viral video. And when we put together our infomercial, which we're in a part of, that's where it's going to explode. So, Tony Horton, hey, buddy, knocking on your back door. <laughs> hey, listen, you know, hey, listen I, I, we, we ordered, uh, my, me and my old lady ordered it because uh, we're trying to get in better shape because I work on the computer all day. Uh, you know what, I, I was talking about wrestling for one second. I, I, listen, I was a huge fan. 1996 was a heyday of wrestling for me. I was a Philly kid, ECW, but I was a huge WCW fan, and I was a huge fan of DDP. I self-high five all the time. All the time, DDP, all the time. <laughs> now, listen, now, now I, I love wrestling now, too, because it's in my blood. Now, I don't like Randy Orton, and I don't like his RKO because it's a diamond cutter. What do you think of Randy Orton <laughs> stealing your goddamn move and sucking it up, to be perfectly honest? Well, you know, I, I really wanted Randy to do it because I thought he was one of the best wrestlers in the world. You know, I really did. And uh, um, I love that because he is. He's, you know, top three guys in the business. And uh, for him to be doing a version of, of my move, you know, is just as cool as Jay-Z doing a version of the Diamond Cutter sign, The Rock, you know. <laughs> I mean, I love the fact that, you know, because when people, when he hits that, when he hits that, you know, RKO, a lot of people think of me, good and bad, <laughs> you know. And when Jay throws that up, you know, I mean, he got Donald. What's the guy's name? Uh, I think he's the richest man in the world. But God, what's his name? Uh, God, I can't remember right now. Buffett. He got Buffett to do the freaking side. I, <laughs> I pop. I pop. But, you know, there was a lot of people who went, wow, they thought of DDP, you know. And, you know, uh, to me, you know, it, it's all good, man. I, I I love to watch some of the young talent, you know, get out there and work their ass off. And I, I, I've come back to it. I, I took off a long time from watching, but I've come back to it because so many of the guys are doing, you know, DDP yoga. You know, I, I get backstage and they're like, oh, my God, DDP, everybody's talking about your workout, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm like, cool, you know. <laughs> so, all good. DJ? DDP, with, uh, you know, you're, you're feeling great, and WWE, they're bringing back anyone they can get, really. You know, Rock's coming back. Uh, have you reached out to them? They reached out to you about possibly doing a return, maybe going up against the Rock finally? Well, hey, boy, that would not be funny, huh? Uh, <laughs> I really dropped the ball there, man. I should have made that happen when I came in there because it was so perfect timing. But, you know, you live and you learn through every lesson. And the positive side of that, me not doing that, it made me so smart. I shouldn't say baby so smart. I learned from my fuck ups. <laughs> you know, if, you make, if you make mistakes, it's okay. You just have to learn from them, you know? And I learned so much. That would have been so awesome. People's champion against people's champion. It would never have the same value, you know, that it would have, you know, would have had 10 years ago. But um, then it would have been awesome. But it made me so smart when I negotiated my deal with Warner Brothers. You know, I thought, okay, get up and walk away from the table, which I did a bunch of times. Until finally we had a deal that made sense. And now that this thing's exploding, you know, those guys are going to get their money back at some point. <laughs> you know, but I'm True. in control of it. So I, I get to do what I want to do. And, you know, we wouldn't have the success that we've had, you know, without with, with someone constantly telling me what I can or can't do. Uh, do I think at some point WWE will call me? I think I don't think so. They know I'm pretty much out of it. You know, if, if this blows up the way I really believe it's going to blow up, 
well, then you never say never because, <laughs> you know, you know, they're very smart when it comes to making money and anybody who's relevant, you know, they love to have involved. And when you have all these different celebrities, you know, that do things on the show, there's one that could still work. You know, like I'll still, uh, I show up, I got like three, uh, three shows I'm going to show up this summer and, uh, you know, somebody will get hit with a diamond cutter. It won't be any more than that, but <laughs> I, I guarantee you, it, that's all people want to see me do anyway. They want to hear me cut a promo make someone look stupid, and then hit them with a diamond cut. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's exactly if true. You, Mike Kale, if you did, if you did uh, ever make a, a return to the ring uh, on a full-time or even, you know, semi-part-time basis, who would you want to work with? Who are the guys you now that you'd love to get in the ring with and be able to work work a match with? Oh, well, I would only want to work, uh, you know, only really want to work against, uh, you know, uh, um, Orton, you know, because we'd have something, we'd have an issue, you know, that people would get into and it would bring old schoolers back. It'll never happen, but it would be fun. It's fun to think about, you know, because there's so many things that we could do around it, you know. Um, you know, it's it's already passed its time with Rock, but that would have been fun. I would have loved to have worked with him. Uh, Cody, you know, if I could go back and be a heel, which I would never do now, not with, not after everything, you know, what I'm doing right now. Uh, but I, I would love to be, you know, working against Cody when he turns babyface because I think he's, because of his father's son and he knows the business, I think he's going to be an outstanding babyface. And plus, he's, he's not that big. And what you're, a hero is defined by the size of his opponent. And there's a lot of guys way bigger than him. And that's a good size for a babyface to be, you know, and he's doing damn good with it being a heel. So uh, I think that, and he's got credibility now. You know, he's had that title for a long time. Did he still have it? I haven't watched it in a couple of weeks. He still got the. He just, he just got back. back from Big Show at the last pay per view. Yeah, right. Which I think was brilliant, you know, because Big Show doesn't need any title. He needed his yeah. he needed his uh, his come uh, come up in so whatever it's called at WrestleMania. But Show is his own animal. It doesn't matter whoever beats him or whatever. You know, what I mean, the guy's seven foot and he's five hundred pounds or four fifty eight or whatever the hell he is. You know that he can even get around the way he's doing because he's no kid anymore. You know, no. so, uh, you know, when I was, he little, needs he, DDP yeah. yoga. <laughs> you know, he really <laughs> does. But when we get on, when we get on, it's all, when, I, it's, when it's all said and done, I'll have them all, you know, because at some point or another, they're going to have to be doing it or some kind of yoga, you know, because it, it really helps your body, you know, and the reason why mine is so different is because, I did this whole dynamic resistance thing, this whole engaging of the muscles. The reason why my nephew got it so good, because he's a bodybuilder. So he understands flexing every muscle for a show. Now you do it when you're working out, you don't have to run. You know, it's zero impact. So how many people are beat up? How many, like, I just got in, in, into a lot of football players. So some like uh, Max Starks, who's uh, the uh, offensive tackle for Pittsburgh. He's 6'8". He's 345. You know I mean? That's a big man. He don't want to be running, but he knows he needs his cardio. He knows he needs to get leaner. I'm, I'm, I'm going in and sort of like doing what I do with Arthur with him giving him the workout, working out what he eats, and tweaking it. And his wife's a doctor, so she'll be able to back up a lot of the things that I say. But he, he's, he's a key guy in the NFL uh, that I got coming in. I got the, uh, the fullback for, um, for San Francisco 49ers, Bruce Miller, 24 years old, 6'3", 260. When I, here's a guy who could bench, incline bench, 315, 15 times, all right? He's 24. When he gets on the mat with me, and I say, okay, I'm going to take you up as far as you can go, and then I'm going to pass that so you can see what the old man can do. <laughs> and at 24, you can't. So uh, once we got into that workout and we got to the parts where I you know, took it to him, I mean, he was just like shaking. And you know, <laughs> he, he, I said, you're only as strong as your weakest link, Bruce. And then when we get a spot where we're like in a competition of 10-second push-ups or whatever, and he was starting me a waiver. I go twenty four, fifty six. Don't let me embarrass you like that. <laughs> and at some point, he had to go down. I said, "Now go to your knees, and we keep going." You know, so it's just like if if you can have that farm boy strength that he has, and then that weight strength that he has, and then you add in that core strength that I can help him get. Well, he, when he hits a guy on the field next year, he's gonna blow through him. 
<laughs> yeah, it's true. You know, you know. Listen, DP. Listen, you're doing great things, and, and uh, it's really inspired me. If I saw the video, it inspired me. It's inspired a lot of people. Tell people where they can find all your videos and find everything they need to get their lives back in order. Well, if you go to DDP Yoga. Dot com, uh, you'll see a bunch of different videos there. Uh, it, we have about three different programs. We try to make it so you can get it buy, buy it all at one time, or you can break it up into three payments. And uh, you know, it, it, it's if it's worth investing in your life, and that's what it is. It's an investment in you. You know, uh, I, I have all the proven. <laughs> if you want to see all the the different athletes, celebrities who who do my workout, we have a tab up there. You can see that and what they what they have to say about it. I don't pay one of them. I just help them all. And if you you want to see some of the other transformations that people have gone through, now is it a pill or it's a quick fix? No. If you're looking for that, go buy that ab thing that's on the infomercial, that heat gel jelly that sort of shakes like vibrates your stomach that burns calories. I don't know how that works, but, it, it, you know, if that's what you're looking for, then go get that. If you want to put the work in, I have a site called TeamDVPYoga.com. It's the best damn support system on the planet. We, you know, we were at, you know, 1,500 people for, like, ever. And then for the last year and a half that we had it up there, and then in the last three months when it took off and I was out at WrestleMania, we, had, we went up to 2,000 people. And in the last week, week, I guess it's been a week, we're over 3,500 people on that site. And it's people helping people. And it's sort of like the gimmick that I did at the end of my WWE career. Help, let me help you help you. <laughs> but if you don't want to help you, then if you ain't ready to put the work in, I ain't got the time. And don't waste your money. You know, being seriously, don't waste your money. But if you really want to change your life and own your life, I have an awesome system for you that if you actually put the work in, I'm really accessible. Like, I want to let you guys know in July from the 20. 20- 6th to the 30th, I'm going to Mexico. It's all there. Anyone can go on that trip with me. We only got we have about six more, seven more spots left. But we're taking a bunch of people down to Mexico. We work out and have fun. We eat amazing food that's really good for you, that tastes amazing. But we also party. You know, this is a DDP yoga retreat extravaganza, and we have an awesome time down there. So if you want to go, you know where to find me, and you can always find me at DDP Yoga. If you get the program, you go to teamddpyoga.com, or you can go by Facebook and like our DDP Yoga, or go to Twitter and catch me there. So I gave you enough ways, ways to get a hold of me. I'm pretty damn accessible.